hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to delete the multiple data or record using a checkbox in php mysql so guys now i have created one table inside my php tutorials database where i have few records over here so we will select like this id and this id and this id and delete the data using checkbox so guys now let's get started with it so first let's move to our editor so guys i'm using bootstrap 5 to design this user interface where i have designed a simple card inside and displayed the title of the video so now let's start with the coding to delete the data first need to create one column 12 where card margin top 4 so it's gone mistake card dot empty 4 card body and inside this we are going to design the table so before that need to create a form which will be method of post table dot table dot hyphen bordered dot table striped table head table row and this table not table data we need to get table heading over here id and the columns whatever we require in our db to call that student name class and phone let's call that name class and phone number we need one more th heading for to call the button so let's call button where we'll tell delete which will be type of submit and this button name will be student delete multiple okay multiple ids i mean multiple button this will be your button name and give a design for this button button danger save and now let's see the output guys for this cut back refresh you can see this output so guys now let's uh, fetch all these details into this table let's get back table body and inside this you need to start with table row table data will fetch all these details from here so now let us write the code first php open php close first give the database connection so dollar cvn is equal to mysqli underscore connect function to connect the database local host root is user i mean username is root and the password is null and my database name is php tutorials so let's copy this paste and now guys let's write the query dollar query is equal to inside this select star means all from table name call students so let's copy this student name and paste now let's run above query dollar query run is equal to with the help of mysqlite query function you are going to execute the above statement so first you need to give the database connection and then your query give comma and paste now if it is if the record exists or not inside this table so let's use that function to check that mysql i number of rows function is greater than zero if it's there then it will come inside this else it will show no record found let's divide this php close table row tr 
table data no record found f o u n d found and this will be 1 2 3 4 5 let's concatenate or merge them by using call span call span of 5 and now guys if the record found you have to work in this for each loop where this dollar query run as dollar row of your single data so over here let's close this php and open php and now we will write the this html table data so let's take this and paste now first will be your input box and then your table data of your heading so first let us create the input box input of checkbox when name is equal to your student delete id where you are going to store in multiple ids with the value where value will be your this id fetched ids php open let's make it this is equal to is a shortcut method to show your or echo the data id same i'm going to copy this and paste that's it so let's save and yes guys so let us check the output once refresh you can see that id everything is coming so let's call other fields also and let me just give one simple styling for this width 10 pixel text align colon center save refresh you can see this design so let's call all this column called student name student class and student phone let's copy paste student underscore name class and phone save and now let's see the output perfect so guys now let's select this and delete the data let's get back make sure you are adding this form with the method post and one submit button with this name student delete multiple button and then your checkbox of your input field which is student delete id with the array format because it's storing multiple ids so guys now once you click this you have to go to code.php file with the help of method post let's copy this and go to code.php let's write a if condition to check whether the button is clicked or not using a set function so my button name is this and now dollar all the all id data will come from where are you getting that from the input of checkbox so this is my checkbox from here i'm selecting this let's get back paste and now guys over here let's extract this because here in this you have multiple ids so we are going to use that uh, implode function so let's tell extract ids is equal to implode function we will separate them by comma and paste this all id so this all id will send over here and then you are going to separate with the commas and let's echo and check this first echo paste get back refresh and now guys i am selecting with the 2 and 9 and 10 let's click on delete you can see 2 9 and 10 record has been fetched so now let's use a sql query to delete this data let's write over here let's comment this or just remove that dollar query is equal to where delete from from your table name so my table name is student 
let's copy that and write a where condition id and in this is id column and inside this id we are going to use multiple ids so let's take this extracted ids and pass into this in, in condition where this can let's execute this above statement copy underscore run where is equal to mysql i query function to execute the statement let's get the database connection first and then your query or your statement so let's copy and paste and now guys let us check with the if condition is success or not if it is success if it's not success it will come in else condition so over here let's take this dollar query run paste so let's use a session to show the message session variable of status is equal to inside double quotes data deleted successfully and header location so location colon i want to go back to this same page so this page let's copy this page name and done let's use the same thing to echo the status after data not deleted and if you are using this session make sure you have started your session on top and same session let's use to show in this page let's get back paste close php and now guys let us use simple code to show the message so i have already done so let me just paste that paste this is a simple way to show the message of your code so let's execute and check guys refresh and now we will select with the id number 7 9 and 4 selected and now let's click on delete delete data deleted successfully and that all the data has gone which we selected so guys this is how we delete multiple records using this in condition and the checkbox so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share